As the month of March comes to an end, that means that district play in baseball is right around the corner. For Bridge City, the non-district season has been more important than most years as they are breaking in a lot of new starters. It's one of those things where they've, uh, you know, they waited their turn, and um, you know, that's, that's kind of like our we've, we've established a, a way that we do things where it's our seniors' turn to lead. It's our seniors' turn to uh, do something special. It's our seniors' turn to to leave their mark. So uh, we knew it was coming. We graduated 12 guys last year, 12 guys that all contributed, and uh, so we knew we knew it was coming. Um, so it wasn't surprising, but it, it has been eventful so far. It's definitely a lot harder to get their attention. It's a lot harder to be a uh, leader when you got uh, only three or four of us, you know. Uh, some of the juniors have to step up, take some big shoes. Uh, seniors definitely got big uh, roles to fill. And uh, it's a little bit harder to get everybody's attention, but I think we're getting it and we're getting a show on the road. Freshman and sophomore year, you know, we had a lot of older guys. So it was pretty much already set in stone how things work. This year it's just kind of new to come in and the younger guys, uh, we just kind of got to teach them the ways, I guess. Though the Cardinals may lack experience, they've proven over the years that they have the ability to reload. With 25 district titles in the school's history, there's a tradition and expectation of making a deep run in the playoffs. Last year that run ended in the regional semifinals, but this year's band of upstarts are hungry and working hard to go further. They've been ranked as high as 10th in the state, and while they appreciate the high praise, they know that the wins will have to be earned between the lines. Rankings, um, you know, they don't mean a lot to us. The, whoever makes those rankings probably couldn't name one guy on our team. Um, it's okay for people to talk about, and, and you know, but it's really just, uh, it's just something to talk about. Oh, we have a really good district. Oh, people don't realize how hard our district is. I, I just think it's a great, that's awesome. We have so many young players. And to be ranked that high already, I just think we can continue to get better. With just four seniors on the team, the Cardinals are young and will be hard pressed to win another district title that includes talented teams such as Silsby, West Orange Stark, and Orange Field. Win or lose, they've enjoyed their time in the program and are excited about the opportunity to get district play underway. Well, every year I think we come in, every year we come in trying to win a district championship. That's our, that's our main goal, you know, we have seven in a row now. We're going to go for eight and then carry it on to the playoffs. Honestly, going into this, we knew there was going to be some bumps in the road, and there, we have had some uh, first couple of weeks. But you know, they, our guys just showed back up and uh, got after it again. They didn't they didn't get too high when we when we had a big win. They didn't get too low when we got our teeth kicked in. Um, it's just it's just a good group to be around.